everybody, it's Jamie. So this week I locked myself out of my apartment. Not once, not twice, but thrice. Three times terrible. But I keep forgetting them because I don't have any place in my apartment to put my keys. Well, this week I'm going to solve that problem by making a key holder that's not just inexpensive, not just practical, but also extremely stylish. Three times awesome! Let's do it, girl. For your key holder, you're going to need a wooden canvas. I got this one on clearance because it's a Christmas canvas. It doesn't really matter what's on the front of it since you're going to be covering it all up anyway. In case you're wondering, yes, you can use a canvas that's not wood, but it does make this project super easy to do. You're also going to need burlap fabric, scissors, black paint and paintbrush, a painting tray, key stamps, screw hooks, push pins, and a staple gun. Now you don't have to use a staple gun, but it is the easiest one to use. You can also use a hammer and tiny nails. I think you could use a hot glue gun too, but it's going to make the project a little bit messy, so up to you. Okay, let's get started. Step one, measure your burlap in order to make sure that it's going to fit nicely over your canvas. Remember that you're going to be attaching the fabric to the back, so make sure to give yourself a few extra inches when measuring. Use your scissors to trim the fabric to the right size. Step two, the next step is to decorate your burlap over a hard, flat surface. Since we're making a key holder, I thought these key stamps would be really fun to use. Or you can just buy key templates and then trace them. Or you can just use your own keys. But I don't know where mine are, so we're not going to be doing that right now. <sighs> or you can nix the idea of keys in general and just use whatever pattern you like. If you chose the key stamps, go ahead and paint one of the individual stamps and then press it firmly into your canvas. This will give you a really nice key print. Or if you decide to paint the entire key stamp at once, it'll look something like this. Either way, touch up any uneven or faded paint with your paintbrush. Once your paint has dried, flip your burlap over and place your canvas upside down on top of it. Wrap your burlap from front to back, then using your staple gun or any of the tools I had mentioned earlier, attach your burlap to the perimeter of the back of your canvas. In order to turn this awesome thing into a key holder, the last step is to add your screw hooks at the bottom. Simply start a tiny hole using the point of the screw hook and then hand screw the hook in from there. Once your hooks are in place, hang your canvas near your door or anywhere you want to hang your keys. And there you go, your key holder is all done. Or is it? Because I've got one last surprise for you. Because your canvas is covered in burlap, that means you can use push pins on the canvas without seeing the holes everywhere. So now your key holder is also a way for you to see notes while heading out the door. Pretty cool. How did you create your key holder? Tweet me at Jamie Petito or tell me all about it in the comments below. Oh wait. There they are. They've been in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> Found them. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Oh, there are my keys. <laughs> I key mama. <laughs> uh, that's going in bloopers. Or you can nix, or you can nix the ideas. You can actually just nix the entire key pattern all together and do whatever uh, pattern you like. <laughs> I will be using, don't mind that.